Hey everyone, Orlando Prince of Podcast. Welcome to another Monday mini so Now, you might be wondering, why is it just you, Orlando? Well, Mike's busy with family. As you know, there's a new addition on the way, and so our schedules haven't been able to you know, work out. And uh, we wanted to still make sure we dropped the Monday mini sode And hopefully we'll be able to drop a, possibly a live episode on Wednesday. It may, may just be me or it may be Mike and I. But either way, we want to continue providing content. And so I thought since it was just me on this episode, I would talk about the changes I've already made in 2023, which has helped, helped me overall. Uh, you know, it's kind of shaky still, right, with the economy and everything. And things are quickly changing in that you have to adapt to make sure that you're still thriving, whether it be on eBay or Amazon and so on. But I want to talk specifically about what I'm doing right now that I've changed since January 1. So the first thing is, I've talked about this already, uh, that I am listing every single item that I source within a week. I'm not taking, you know, two, three months. I'm not having these massive death piles. Sometimes I have rooms full of items. I'm sourcing garage sales, let's say Saturday. By Wednesday, everything's listed. If I have a big haul, you know, let's say it's on a Monday, I'm, I'm trying to get everything listed by Sunday. I, I feel that it allows me to do more. I, I'm encouraged. The sales come through. I make my money back faster. And it, it you know, allows me to continue uh, scaling the business without being bogged down with all this inventory after. So I encourage you guys, uh, no more team death pile. Not that I'm perfect at it, but I'm working on it. All right, the second thing is I'm only picking up items I will list. And I, Mike and I have talked about this a lot, but I'm doing that constantly now. So for example, the other day, there are some VCRs I could have picked up, but I know that when I get those VCRs, they end up sitting on the side and I say, oh, I'll get to it and I never do. Or sometimes there's larger items that, yeah, they're profitable, but I don't want to spend the time picking that item up, cleaning it up, you know, taking the picture, shipping it. And so I've passed on some of those. I've even passed on a lot of clothing that I'm like, it's not very profitable. It's not my time worth, you know, picking up. Uh, and so I'm being really selective. And so I encourage you guys, uh, if you look at stuff and you're like, it's really profitable, also think about, am I actually going to spend the time listing this item? Next, I'm always running sales. Always, 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 always. Plus, I'm always handing out some kind of a coupon. Now, when I mean handing out, I mean either it's a public coupon on eBay, which you do need to have an eBay store to be able to do these things, or I'm doing a private coupon, which means you can make groups like people have brought, bought from you in the last three months or six months or nine months, and I'm sending out coupons. But there is never a time in my eBay store that a sale is not running and there isn't also a coupon running. And in this time right now, right, you want to be cash heavy. So you want to move that inventory. And again, you guys have known me if you've been watching for the last few years that I'm not about, you know, selling things for cheap or uh, trying to get, you know, the lowest price. I'm still trying to stay profitable, but I'm also trying to move inventory, right? So part of that is, you know, accepting offers, which I've already been doing for a while, but I'm making a concerted effort to make sure that that sell through rate continues. Also, I am trying to every day look at my listings and anything that is over 90 days, I'm ending those listings and I'm doing sell similar. And it's been kind of interesting because what's happened is items that I haven't had any interest in in a long time, I'm talking about maybe years on some, I end up having the ability to send an offer. Sometimes I'll get an offer and I am able to convert and I'm able to move that inventory. And Mike and I talked about how we gained this, you know, inner knowledge, I guess, whatever you want to call it, uh, by talking to eBay directly a few months back. And they stated anything over 90 days ends up being stale inventory. All right, before we move on, if you haven't yet, should have done this earlier, make sure to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, make sure to hit that like button. Uh, comment below, what are some things that you're doing right now in 2023 that you weren't doing back in 2022? Uh, so we can all thrive and we can all help each other out in the comments. And also, last of all, hit that bell notification so you're notified whenever we drop any new content. And here's the last thing uh, that I am doing here in 2023. And this is the one I get uh, a lot of flack for, especially on social media. Uh, those of you that follow me when I go to garage sales or uh, when I go to a local deal is I am trying to get the best deal possible. And that has meant that this time around, I've had to walk away from a lot of deals. 
you know, so it used to be back in, I would say, like 2018, 19, 20, I call that the bull run of reselling. Uh, that you know it was okay to pay up because if you paid up you know you still knew that you were going to be profitable you knew that the market was still you know hot for most items but now things have changed right and so you might be in a situation where you might buy a lot of inventory and you paid up and it may sit for a while and you do not want to get all that cash tied up so i'm making obnoxious offers and i know a lot of a lot of you know individuals are like orlando like i i don't know if i'm comfortable you know, it's selling, I mean, buying things at such a low price. But here's the thing. If people are willing to sell it to you, they're not going to sell it to you uh, unless they want to move that item. And most of the time at a garage sale or a local deal, people are just looking to offload things. Now, I will give you a, a trick I do here too when I'm doing that local deals. I see it, how long an item has been on the listing. Has it? Did it get posted two days ago, 15 days ago, 30 days ago, 45 days ago? And if you're constantly watching local deals, you're you're looking and seeing when are people trying to just, you know, cancel their listing on that local marketplace and bring it back up. And you begin to catch that, hey, they're not able to move this inventory. What that allows for you is to be able to go, you know what? I know this has been sitting for a while. I can actually bring in a lower offer and they're going to want to move that inventory. And so you're going to be able to make that deal. And so not only am i keeping costs low in my sourcing and also my shipping and that's changed a lot and what i did is in 2022 i started researching places that i could get certain boxes i needed to send let's say for example shoes or to send i, I do sell a lot of let's say uh baseball gloves or hot wheels or whatever it is whatever box or inventory i need i was looking for free avenues for those items and one of the ones has been usps so as always i've loaded up on a ton of free usps supplies if you're brand new to reselling you need to take a look at the usps shop as for priority mailboxes whether they be for regular priority or flat rate because you're going to save a ton of money there but i've also been able to find sources that give me boxes like 10 by 8 by 6 uh constantly or packing supplies uh if you look at let's say for example moving companies or uh, we've had suggestions before where there's places that people use a lot of bubble wrap or maybe you know your local newspaper you can get a lot of that newspaper uh, material that is being used before it gets to press or if it never gets used and you can buy it for really cheap but i've kept my cost of shipping really low to give you an example of how low i've only bought for 2023 okay one time from the ebay supplies which i'm used to per pretty much every month have bought more boxes or tape uh the only thing i am buying right now pretty much is tape all my other supplies have been free and the reason i'm doing this is i'm trying to keep costs low and so i can have more cash to buy out more uh inventory to obviously scale the business more so hopefully all these tips on this late night monday mini so have helped and so interested in what all of you guys are doing again i'm trying to list everything right away no more team death pile I'm only picking up items I know I will list. I'm constantly running sales and coupons. I'm doing end listing sales similar for any items that are over 90 days. And last of all, I'm keeping everything <laughs> that I'm trying to sell uh, at a low cost, whether it be inventory, whether it be shipping, uh, even you know planning my routes when I go out because this is the year to make it happen in 2023 because if things rebound in 2024 and you have cash and you have inventory, you're gonna have a great great 24 25 and so on so with that being said hopefully this helped you guys out and as always make sure to smash that like button and always make sure to be real be relevant and be reselling late